A popular Grand Rapids restaurant closed for nearly two years since the start of the pandemic is open once again. And owners made the most of the time off to improve their business. 13 on your side's Nate Belt joins us now with the new changes to the Grove. Yeah, Juliet Grove closed in March of 2020, right when restaurants were first being told to shut down. Since reopening its doors on Wednesday, staff says it's been full of customers, but they may not recognize much since the last time they've been in. Two years. If I was to write down <laughs> on March 16th of 2020 how long Grove would have been closed, that would not have been um, <laughs> in my vocabulary at that time. But as the pandemic wore on and restrictions remained, the restaurant owner didn't feel like opening was sustainable. We didn't do to go or to carry out at all anyway, so it just made it just didn't make sense. Grove's owner Essence Restaurant Group took a financial hit because of it. When you're in business, the idea is to be you're open for business. So having it closed was not my idea of being a good thing. But it may have turned out to be. While the long hiatus would have permanently closed many businesses, the East Hills establishment looked at the silver lining. It's not getting knocked down, it's how you get back up. So if you're a returning guest, you're in for a whole new experience. The goal was to, when they walked in the restaurant, was not to recognize anything. In the time off, Grove completely redesigned its interior with a new table layout and artwork. The menu is also fully reworked, and the changes wouldn't have been possible without the closure. You have the ability to be that reflective on one concept because it was closed. Um, we just wouldn't have that time. So how are the changes being received? For the first two nights since reopening, we're packed and excited to be back in business. There's nobody doing what we're doing here in Michigan. That I can tell you. That's, that's a guarantee. While Grove employees work to learn its new workflow, the restaurant is mostly only taking reservations. They say you might get lucky with a walk-in, but it's best to call ahead before stopping by. Julia? Thank you, Nate.